Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm gonna try not to turn my shoulder in this video so that I don't flash my troop number um, because that would be kind of awkward, right? Um, so yeah, obviously I just I literally can't move my arm. Um, I just got back from Scouts and um, this is the day like yeah yesterday's vlog I recorded this morning and um, oh my gosh I just I need to move my arm. Okay, I'm gonna try and do some stuff. Alright, uh, anyways. Um, so today is yesterday's vlog I recorded this morning like I said and yesterday's vlog was all I mean yesterday's vlog which is this morning's vlog was uh, also that train wreck where I literally had nothing to talk about the entire time I was like wow this is stupid like I should not be a vlogger and honestly you know anyways um so yeah it was the bad one um so hopefully um in the morning I definitely was a lot more tired a lot less energetic nothing had happened in my um, immediate memory and uh, i was like oh i was just like everyone was asleep so i'd be kind of quiet and everything you know how it is um so yeah anyways <sighs> all right out of the uniform but yes um so now that the day is over and there's some more stuff to talk about from today specifically um i can tell you um today i did eat some stuff i had a lot of chicken for dinner um, I had a little bit of a Twix bar, I had something else I think that I didn't have when I had the flu, um, so my eating is starting to come back. I drank like a full bottle of water today, you can't drink water when you're sick. Um, which reminds me, I heard this story, I don't know from where, I don't know how long, it wasn't too long ago, but I, I, um, rem I just kept thinking of it when I had the flu. I remember. This, this girl who grew up and her parents were like health freaks or something, um, but she was always like super and she never got the flu as a kid. And then she went, finally went off to college, she's like tw 20 or 21, and she gets the stomach flu and she starts feeling really sick. And growing up in a household of health freaks, she's taught to, okay, I'm probably dehydrated, let me drink some water. And she just drinks tons and tons of water, like few few bottles of water and oh man kids that got sick when they were young they know not to drink water when you got the flu oh and then who just all came out anyways so yeah funny story i just remembered that i'm pretty yeah i'm pretty sure that's like actually a true story um i'm gonna have an oreo again today today's the first day i'm having an oreo i just remember i bought all those oreos let's hope the oreos are still good better than ever Oreos are so good rule number one vlogging as I always say just never eat on camera I, that's always my number one rule of vlogging because it's always the one I break and it always makes for horrible vlogging because you're literally sitting there you're either sitting there and you're not saying anything or you're sitting there and you're saying stuff while you're eating and that's gross which I'm doing right now, so. Mmm. See right there? That was just dead air, dead air time. Can't talk. The way it's just starting to get chewy. Not good. I did not ask for chewy Oreos. I'm a crisp. Um, I think it's a little bit better for them not to be too crisp, but. This is like a family size pack of Oreos, so once it's unsealed, there's a ton of Oreos to go through, and since the time is a little bit shorter, it's kind of weird. By the time I get to the bottom of this package, um, the Oreos are going to be nice and soft. Not very nice. Mm. I'm going to have an Oreo after I finish filming this. Anyways, this is a problem with my vlogs. Look, we're already four minutes and 30 seconds in, and my I'm just eating an Oreo. Like, what am I even doing? You guys want some Pop Tarts? I don't even know why I said that. Just this guy. Oh, yeah. Get this. Really, really epic. So, we had this comforter in the family. We've had it for a million years. And my mom was just like, hey, it's on the floor. You want to put it on your bed? So, I'm like, okay. So, I got this huge. This comforter is enormous. Um, so, now, and it, like, I, I, I fold it. I fold it out 
and it comes and it covers. So now not only do I have the normal sheets that I've been used to staying warm in my entire life, I now have that huge comforter and every night, set up the sheets, I get in, and then I reach out and I pull the huge comforter over and it's just like so warm, it's like, just, oh, it's, it's so great. I'm so warm in that thing. Um, so yeah, that's a beautiful experience. Don't really know why I need it because I'm in SoCal, but you know what? It's just, I say that a lot, John. I'm just starting to realize how often I say, oh yeah, SoCal, it's not cold. But um, it is January, it is winter. Um, ah, it's just so, it's interesting. I've, thought, I've been thinking for a while and I'm starting to notice that like people always say, oh, California people, you're so spoiled. Oh, Hawaii, you're so spoiled. But no one ever talks about like any of the, uh, any other places where it's really, where it's like hot. Like no one ever says Texas, you're so spoiled. Cause, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me go see if I'm wrong. Wait, which box is it? I'll just bring both so I'm not off camera for too long. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like really hot in Texas. I know, I mean, I'm right about that, but um, I'm pretty sure my phone is dead. Well, that's sad. I mean, it hasn't been charged in a really, really long time, but it still shouldn't be out of battery. Okay, so can't use that one on camera. You know, it'd probably be a nice decoration. Just like leave these here. Talk about a nice background. Like, imagine this as the background for the video. Ah, uh, they're really hard to see. I'm just gonna leave them. I'll take them back afterwards. Um, let's let's get the app sponsored. No, I was not spot. This video is not sponsored by Apple. I mean, why would it be? You guys have kind of already knew it was not sponsored by Apple. Because honestly, why would Apple sponsor my video? I do not make videos that are worthy of being sponsored by Apple. Alright, I actually, this is kind of a weird shot, but kind of a cool shot at the same time. And then we like, finish. There's dust. Dust. My mom's allergic to dust. Fun fact for all of you who care. Yeah, that was pointless. And then we'd like put a mouse on top, and then it's like, wow, hunted. I don't know. I really like the art of setting up shots. I know it's probably more of a photography side of things. Um, but I'm always really fascinated by like getting those, but getting like a good camera on a tripod, not just my phone, but getting a camera on the tripod with the zoom. So like, because with my phone, I'm like holding it. I'm like, it's a, it's a, all, everything is a handheld shot. But with, um, with a tripod and everything set the camera down you f first of all you feel like you're a complete boss you feel like you're a pro at everything and you're actually filming a movie right now and you're setting up a shot that's going to be in your documentary that's going to be watched by 2.5 million people um but i love using those cameras i use those my school has those cameras and that's the only time i use them but um i i love setting up those sh shots like that um like just going like filming anything like literally when i get my, my my hands on those cameras i'll literally like it's always mounted the tripod like right when i walk around like i have it mounted um i'll literally just i'll walk outside and then i'll just like put the tripod down because i'm not going anywhere or something like because i'm and then i'll just start panning the camera around, getting these weird shots zoom shots really zoomed in shots different zoom shots pan like with a phone you just can't do that with a phone it's just like you you look around you zoom in like 0.1 times Is someone talking to me 0.1 times that lame apple zoom um although it's better with that zoom lens kit i got but um it's either that or um but the the, the camera it's like you're panning you can look straight down you can just not touch the camera and it's looking straight down the great thing about the camera is it's a still shot your camera is not moving an inch unless it's really windy um but like with this it could be no wind at all and i'm still shaking my hands because i'm not perfect um nor are you i don't even know why did i okay so i just lost half my viewers i'm not perfect and you aren't either you're a bad per Okay, so this vlog is a train wreck. I think that's a good place to end it. Um, but no, you. Anyways, so moving on. Um, I'll stop like insulting the viewers.
but I, you know, you got, you can have your straight down shot. You can have a shot that's like literally straight up at the sky, or like a really up angle, or like looked at something zoomed in. I mean, you can just. I I love the fact that you can get some crazy shots um, with the 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 good camera. Ooh, train of thought. It's like the train of thought derailed. Why did it? I wonder why the tr tr phrase train of thought was invented. I have a lot of vlogs to edit. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to probably do a ton of work tomorrow because I think the last, I have like a vlog coming tomorrow. The last scheduled vlog comes out tomorrow. I can schedule one for Saturday. But after that, I got to edit the one, um, 7-Eleven, which is where I'm at. I think this is like, I don't even, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is 7:15. Whatever. I don't really know what vlog this is. We are approaching 7:17. I'm get excited for that vlog. Gonna be talking about another plane. I'm really happy that I did that plane thing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna foreshadow this one thing and then we'll end the vlog. I'm gonna foreshadow. I'm gonna promise you right now. I'm making. <sighs> never make promises. You know you can't keep, um, or you you might not be able to keep. I might not. But I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure I can almost guarantee you that there will be a time I'm going to record. I, I, you know what, because I'm saying this now, I will definitely tell you if I do this. But I'm going to make a vlog and it's going to be, I'm not going to be keeping track of the numbers. And it's going to be in place of one of the ones that ends with a 7. Like, and It's going to be like 757, 767. I'm going to record it, like not knowing what number. And then I'm going to come back and editing later. And I'm going to realize that I'm recording vlog 600, vlog 759. And I already passed 757 a while ago. And I never made the plane vlog. It's like, oh, this is helpful. Yay. And then, I mean, I'll tell you guys, but I'll just like do it, stick it in there and do a ship. That was a horrible idea. That sentence that I, what I meant by stick it in there is stick in a vlog that I record at the, like I would record the vlog and then I'd stick it back in the timeline. Anyways, please do not quote me. Um, anyways, or maybe none of you noticed. Maybe it's just me with the mind and the gut. Hey, it's not my fault. I go to public school, okay? So yeah. Anyways, I hope you all foreshadow. Um, that's gonna happen and I will tell you guys that's gonna do for this vlog if you like this video leave a like if you just like the video leave a dislike and share your opinion in the comment section down below and I will see you next time guys bye 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 <laughs>